Hello, myself, Dr. Said Nazim. I'm a consultant dermatologist. I practice at Max Hospital uh, and at my clinic by name Royal Life Skin Clinic, which is located in Saket, New Delhi. So the topic is melasma. What is melasma? The melasma is actually a grayish brown pigmentation. It's very common in, in our cheeks, in uh, on, on the nose, our eyebrows, and it's more common in females. And however, it is also seen in males but 80% females are affected by melasma. It's also called colasma or the mask of pregnancy if it happens after post-pregnancy. What is the reason? Most of the times it is the, it's the hormonal again, especially the hormonal changes. But whatever the reasons, the sun has a most important role. So if you expose your face to sun, it can increase your melasma. Now first, let's find out the causes. The first, as I said, most important cause is the, the increase in the level of estrogen and progesterone. That increases our uh, a hormone called mel melanin stimulating hormone. And eventually that leads to increase in the melanin pigment of our cells. But then as this state is more common in females, especially during pregnancy, almost 15 to 20 percent of females are affected by melasma. Now, it is also very common in Indian skin type, the brown, the Fitzpatrick skin type three to four. It's very common and and uh, it gives a lot of psychosociological social um, has a lot, lot of this uh, psychological impact on female and um, and we need to treat it. The other common uh, causes of the melasma, if it is in, in I mean, uh, is before, I mean, uh, somebody who is not married is, is the uh, history of uh, taking oral contraceptive pills for whatever the reasons. The other is the thyroid abnormalities, like if somebody is hypothyroid, there are more chances of developing melasma. And sometimes it is associated with some deficiencies, nutritional deficiencies, like iron deficiencies can also lead to melasma. So these are different causes of melasma and they need to be treated. There are a lot of treatment modalities. I don't want to discuss in this video about the treatment that we can discuss later on. But what is important, if anybody has the melasma, do consult your dermatologist. And what all you can do at home is at least don't expose your face to sun and use a good uh, sunscreen. Thank you very much. This is about melasma and its causes. If you have any queries, questions related to it, please do feel to contact, feel free to contact with us and we'll be happy to help you. Thank you.